This is a video review for On One Software's PhotoTune. Currently, I will be using the program as a plugin inside of Photoshop. However, you do not need to. The program itself is a standalone, meaning it will just work on any image that you want to launch within the program. It also works in Lightroom and Aperture. I'm going to go File, Automate, PhotoTune. I'm then presented with the option of whether it's an image with people, an image without people, or a pro mode. We're going to start with image with people. When the software comes up, I'm presented with a very simplistic interface. Less, more. It doesn't get any easier than that. On this first screen, we are being presented with the contrast. If I have it on less, there's less contrast. If I go to more, there's more contrast. Essentially, it whitens the whites and darkens the darks. So in this case, I'm just going to go, oh, I don't know about here. If you are finding this review helpful, please go to www.theartofretouching.com where we have more video reviews and tutorials that will help you do better photo enhancement. Please remember, if you go to On One's store, you could use the coupon code TRS15 for an extra 15% off of any purchase you make on their website. The next screen is Auto Color. On this Auto Color screen, the program is going to go in and decide what color it thinks that the image should be as an overall balance. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. In this case, when I look at it, I think that the auto color actually takes away color from the original image. I think that the image had brighter greens and um, a, sh a brighter flesh tone. And essentially, it pulled out yellow. But I'd like that yellow in there, so I'm actually going to click on the original image. The third screen is brightness. In this case, once again, less is less, more is more. As you see, when I slide it back and forth, one side gets lighter, one side gets darker. What we're going to try and do is find the one that we like the best. So if we start on the left side and slide it around, as it gets darker, I think it just gets too dark, and the light simply gets too light. So just given the option from where we're starting here at its bare minimum less, I think this is too light, I'd rather see it darker for more contrast. So I actually like it right there. Maybe, yeah, right there, that's fine. So I'm going to select the left one. The next one is the cast removal. What it's going to try and do is either put in essentially magenta, or it's going to be putting in a green. As you can see, if you look on one side to the other, what it's actually doing. So it's up to us to decide which we like better. Now this is actually a tough one because I don't want it to go redder and I don't want it to go greener. So given my options, I'm going to tell it to do the absolute less and then I'm going to select the one on the left. Once again, we have another choice. Once again, it presents us with another cast removal where one is going to go greener, the other is going more magenta. And again, we have an option to choose which balance we want. And since I don't want it to go greener or magenta, I'm just going to click this one here. And again, it's narrowing down the color cast in the image, so I'm going to go less or more. In this case, we have a choice between magenta and blue. Well, the blue is cooling off the day and the magenta is still pinking it up, so I'm going to select that. And this, on this screen, we have a choice between making it more magenta or making it more orange, which is what I actually want because I want to put that yellow into this image. I want to warm up the shot, so I'm going to, I don't want to do it too much, but no, I think that's fine. And now the screen that we are presented with is going to be for the skin tones. What it wants me to do is come up here with the eyedropper and find a mid-tone within the flush. And then I'm going to click. 
Once I do that, I now have the option to decide how much of an adjustment I want to do. Do I want it cooler or do I want it warmer? Next comes sharpness. I haven't shown you this yet, where I can use the hand tool to move it around. I'm going to bring the baby into the center. With a magnifying glass, I can zoom in. And then I can decide how much sharpness I want to use. Do I want less or do I want more? Well, obviously, I don't want more, so this should be fine. And then you're left with the final screen which allows you to see where it came from and where it went to. And as you can see from this preview, that this was a cooler image, this warmed it up. And overall, I think that the change created a much warmer image. If I want to go back and change any piece of this, I can click the back arrow and find the area that I want to make the slight change to. And then I'm going to click Apply, and then it gives me my final image. So let's give it a little bit more of a challenge. Next, I'm going to bring up this image that is completely blown out and show you what it can do. I'm going to select Images with People. And when it comes up, I have the same options once again, where I can add some more contrast into the image, which I'm going to do to give it some boost within the midtones. I'm going to select the one on the right. Next, our choice of auto color. Do we like the way that they changed it or leave it the way that it is? I'm going to leave it the way that it is. The next one is brightness. Absolutely not. We're trying to get away from brightness, so I'm going to pull it all the way down. Did it help? No. I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. Cast removal. Once again, we have our choice of which hues we want to go, go with. And I'm going to leave it down to the minimum and select the original. Now I'm going to see if any of these changes help it. And I don't think so. So I'm going to select the same first one. And this is, once again, another cast removal. And I'm going to and I'm going to select the first one with yet another color cast. I'm going to stay with the original. Now I can go in here with this skin color again, and I'm going to select a midtone area that we have. And now I can adjust the color. Then sharpness, I'm not going to worry about. As you can see, it's an improvement, but it's not perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back into Photo Tune once again. And this time I'll show you what we can do in Pro Mode. I'm going to start by showing you this button here, which allows us to rotate through the images in different orientations and different ways to compare. So given this particular image, I'm going to leave it with a split screen, I think. Then I'm going to use the hand tool, slide it over, or actually I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use the magnifying glass to zoom in. And then I'm going to use the hand tool to center it. And that's the original, and this is current. So let's see what we can do to improve this image. We have several different screens with a bunch of different options. And I'm going to increase the contrast while lightening the brightness. And as you can see, we put a little bit more texture back into this image perhaps even too much. And that's coming from this dynamic range enhancement. So I'm just going to turn that off so I can manually do this. I'm going to fill in using recovery. Okay, so perhaps that brought us to a point that we like. We're going to click on color now, and within this color screen, I can then put some color back into this image.
and then we can go under skin tune that once again we are given the option of selecting where you think the midtone is so I'm going to click here and then here's where it found the warmth and the hue and at this point I can adjust it accordingly if I click up here the whole image does a shift now obviously that's not what I want we'll bring it back down I can click down over here obviously that's not what I want so I can click over here and so basically I can adjust the image back and forth until I reach something that looks correct we have an ethnicity option for the different types okay and then we can go into detail and then we can adjust the sharpening if needed but in this case I'm not even going to select it at all and that's where our image is now this is where it started and that's where PhotoTune brought it to huge difference and I can go back in and continue to tinker with the image in a very simple to use interface and now the last image that I want to show you we can go through pretty quickly because we've already worked in both modes but I'd like to show you what can be done with an image that's completely filled in and dark and murky looking so once again I'm gonna go and open back up the photo tune and I'm going to go directly into the pro mode now all I've done at this point is open up the program and already you can see a huge difference between the original and the current primarily that's because there is this dynamic range enhancement which will automatically go in and do an overall balance so I'm actually gonna pull this back to around 40 percent because we will be making our own modifications as we go in this case I'm not going to modify the brightness or the contrast uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to make some other changes fill light is going to lighten the darkest areas however you need to be careful because what it actually does is fill in with a gray so you can use it but you don't want to use too much recovery puts tone and texture back into the brightest areas and if you look at his skin it grayed out once again it's good to use but don't take it too far the next one I'm gonna use is clarity what clarity does is it puts in a contrast and a sharpen without altering the tint within the image so if I push it all the way you can see that it sharpened it it put in the contrast but it doesn't alter the color in a way that the pure contrast mode would so I'm going to make that for the clarity and I'm not going to touch any of the other settings uh, while I'm here I can point out that um, that the software does have presets so you've seen me use utilize all these tools already I can modify the color scheme simply by clicking on the different values and then there's also this skin tune feature which also allows you to modify the skin and then there's detail which um, has the sharpening however I'm actually not going to uh, do anything else to this image because I think that the program did a very good job by making very subtle changes to it and as you can see it did two very ma major things one is that it opened up the image so you can actually see her face the second thing that it did was it removed that green cast that was hanging over this image this will end my review of on one's photo tune software now please remember if you go to their store and make a purchase you could use the coupon code capital T A R S 15 which will then allow you a 15 percent off any purchase that you make on their website if you found this review helpful please go to www.theartofretouching.com where we have more video reviews and tutorials which can help you do better photo enhancement